Hi, welcome to Viewcan Stationery, and today we have a very special video for you. 40 years ago, Lamy introduced their all new Safari product line, where they introduced the colors Savannah Green and Terra Red. 40 years later, these pens are a lot really hard to find, and they can fetch around $1,000 on the second hand market. So, in order to mark the 40th anniversary of the Lamy Safari, in the 2021 series, Lamy has come out with two colors, Savannah Green and Terra Orange. So let's put them to the test. In this video, we'll be talking about the history and we'll be testing out these pens and just giving you our thoughts on these pens. Lamy, a German pen manufacturing company, was founded by Joseph Lamy who was a sales representative for Parker Pen in Germany. He founded the business in 1930 by purchasing the Orthos Pen Manufacturer. Lamy became a pioneer in the use of molded synthetic plastics to make their products. Many Lamy fountain pen models share the same type of feed and nib. Most use stainless steel alloy Z50 nibs, which can be interchanged by the user. The feeds are made of ABS plastic. And what this basically does, and due to their etching and the technology that they use, this they optimize the ink flow characteristics of the feed surface, which overall gives you a nice, smooth feeling. Lamy is a pioneer in the fountain pen industry. They've won many awards, and their engineering of each pen ensures to give you the best writing experience possible. The Lamy Safari was introduced for the young writers. With all of them having this triangular tripod grip, makes it very easy to hold your pen in the correct stance and write it very easily. But over time, the Lamy Safari became an icon among the fountain pen community. These became a pen for everybody because of their fun colors and their nice plastic style, and they're still very affordable. So with their first colors being the Savannah Green and Terra Red, 40 years later, Lamy decides to bring these back. Now, they are still differ a little bit from the originals, such as the nibs, and because of 40 years ago, technology has changed. So don't worry if you have an older Safari, Savannah Green, or Terra Red, it still will have its same value and uniqueness. These are just the new product lines. As you know, Lamy Safari does come out with a new product line every year. For example, last year it was the candy with violet, aquamarine, and mango. And since it's the 40th anniversary here, They'll be releasing these. As of far, I love these colors. They're stunning, they're classic, and overall, the matte orange and the matte green makes a lot of fun. Now, I could definitely see some mix and matching going on. I might get a matte black charcoal, and I think a matte black would look really nice here. But we'll get into that a little bit later on. So, let's get into it. Into it. So let's start off with the ballpoint pens. In today's review, I'll be using the Rhodia pad. Rhodia is a French brand that makes fountain pen friendly paper for very affordable prices in their notepads. So let's start talking about my favorite aspects of the ballpoint pen over here. Now, one of my favorite things right away is the rubber top. Just quick click there and you're good to go like that and very This, pretty simple, and you can get the refills right here. So let's close this back up, push it in. I do really enjoy the spring mechanism here. It's kind of fun to play with, and it is pretty seamless over here. So let's give it a look in the writing. So right away, um, it's a lot more smoother than other ballpoints I've tried. I have the Loistrom Dreg Riffle, which I think retails for a little bit less than this, but it's a good, it's very smooth and I don't find myself having to press too hard. I really do enjoy right away, just the feeling of it. Like I know Lamy does this on purpose, but the way that they do these triangular tops, it makes it your finger rest so much easily on the, on the grip. Another thing I really love about these pens is they're just stunning. The matte orange finish here is beautiful. And the matte green here is too. Whenever Lamy just comes out with a new matte color for their Safari, I kind of enjoy them because yes, you can mix and match them with other colors and you can have a much new different varieties, but overall the pen looks much cleaner and it doesn't seem like it's just plastic. Overall with the ballpoint pen, I love it. Um, 
the rubber eye, the rubber top here is really cool. You don't see it much, but it kind of adds on this whole intrigue to the safari. And that's my thoughts on the ballpoint pen. So my first look at the rollerballs is really nice. It looks very similar to the fountain pens in their whole style, but I love the cap and the whole idea of putting a cap on a rollerball. Because as you know, the ink dries pretty quickly up in the rollerball and if, if left uncapped, the whole thing will dry out. Now, if you look at the Lamy Swift here, which does retail for around $78, I think, it has a push mechanism for the rollerball, which is really nice and all great, but I do feel every once in a while, if I leave it out a little bit too long, it can dry up. With the Safari, you really don't have to worry about that. The cap will always protect it, it's airtight, and you can always make sure you can, you can get the most out of your pen. So let's go and let's test this out right here. Oh, look at me, I went to the exact same page. This is a really smooth write. Honestly, like, I think this may have become one of my favorite Lamy rollerballs because it's just a lot more comfortable. Um, I love the grip here and the whole writing is r really smooth. Like you expect that from the rollerballs, but I like what Lamy's doing here for sure. I love the grip and I love the colors as I said previously and yeah. So I was browsing the fountain pen forums a while ago and I saw this beautiful matte orange pen, which I found out later to be the Terra Red. And somebody had matched it up together with the charcoal black, like the matte black one. And it does give a really beautiful new feeling to the fountain pens. And I think that's what I really love about Safari is their wide variety of colors. And you can mix and match pretty easily and you can create your whole new pens just the way you want them. But now, Let's go look into the fountain pen. So as always, the pen will come with the cartridge right here. As you know, Lamy Safari fountain pens do come with cartridges, but you can also buy a converter for an extra price. And with that, you can use a wide variety of all the different inks we have here. But for today, I will be using the cartridge. So for this review, I'm gonna go mix these two pens together so you guys can both see at least both colors in action. So let's get that here. And as we know, Lamy has their own nibs that they used. And today we'll be using the Lamy medium nib. So having worked with Lamy's before, Lamy nibs are usually a bit more, a bit less fine than most other pens are. And yeah, so they're a bit more fine than most other pens are and that is okay, but today I'll be using a medium. So with like nibs like Yovo, it is German, but it is very more fine. And if you look at like Diplomat, Diplomat is a bit less fine, but Lamy, they're known for their smooth writing feel and they're a bit less fine, which is really nice in some cases. So automatically, let's just make sure that the pen is going. And there we go. We have a beautiful Lamy blue here. And, and I just, I love Lamy and all of their fountain pens, to be honest. They're just, everything they do is right. Um, the feeling is nice and I do notice it has to break in it a little bit longer, but overall it is a really comfortable feeling. I do not think that this is too thick. I usually do write with medium nibs, more fine nibs, but this medium nib seems to be doing the trick pretty well for me. Um, the writing is very smooth and yeah, I love the little grip here, you know. Um, the converter does a really good job. Not the converter, the cartridge does a really good job. And overall, it's just, you can see the beautiful Lamy blue ink here. Lamy has really underrated with their inks, you know. Like you can have a lot of cool colors. They sheen pretty well too, some of them, especially for the Lamy Crystal series. And they have a wide variety of different colors. Now, the one thing I did notice was is that but usually Lamy does release matching inks 
with their new series, but this year Lamy decided that since these were the classic pens and they were their classic colors and classic blue back then, they thought it was the best way to do that this year. So we will not be seeing any of the Lamy new color inks that to match up with these fountain pens, which frankly, I am a little bit disappointed. I thought that we could have had some really cool inks, especially with the green one, but honestly though, like ultimately, the blue one is right here, it's classic, it's great, and it's just like the Safari. We hope you enjoyed our review of the Lamy Safari Savannah Green and Terra Red fountain pens, ballpoint pens, and rollerball pens. If you want to purchase your own, our website will be linked in the description below. To keep updated on all stationery, you can subscribe to our newsletter. And finally, if you want to watch more videos like this where we review pens, talk about inks, and do a bunch of other things, you can always subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. This is Buchan Stationery, and until next time.